So I always say, hey, do your research, find the company that fits you best. And I do that because I want you to do your own research and find out which one's best for you. Uh, I'm kind of biased because I'm at Prime and I love the company and, you know, I'm all for it. But I don't want anyone making the wrong decision and coming to Prime and being like, I hate it here. But with that being said, there's more research that you have to do than just, hey, which is the best school? Which is the best school? Which one's going to work best for me? Which one's closer to my house? You need to start doing that research of what's trucker life really like. So, you think we stay in hotel rooms all the time and you want to come out here and drive the truck? We got news for you. Like, I hear so many students right now complaining that, hey, man, my trainer said I got to sleep on a truck. I got to sleep on a truck. Like, we parked for the night and I was expecting to get a hotel room and I have to sleep on the truck? Like, look at the research. We live in our trucks. Like, a truck driver lives in his truck. So, when we get, we're out there over the road, you're going to be living in that truck, too. It has two bunks in it. Top bunk is all yours because that's where, like, all of your stuff goes. You're coming onto my truck. You're coming in my house. I'm sleeping in bottom bunk. I'm already got all my stuff set up in bottom bunk. My sheets are there. Everything's there. So you're going to climb a ladder or, you know, whatever system they have in that truck to get you on top bunk. And all the stuff you're bringing, all this luggage that you're bringing, you're going to find out that that was too much stuff because it's all going to go up there on top bunk with you. Or every night you go to bed, you're going to move it all down, put it in the seat, and then when you get up in the morning, you're going to put it all back up there. Uh, a couple of my guys, they have pulled their stuff down and then had to put it back up the next day. And they're all like, that's too much work. They don't do it again. But just the reality of getting onto a truck and like having a sleep in a truck, like that's, that's a lot on some people. You know, they're not expecting that. And then they get in there and they're all like, where's the shower at? Where are we going to take showers? You know, there's the next problem. You see that truck stop over there? We're going to go shower in there. What? You don't have your own shower in here? No, there's no showers in these trucks. You're going to shower in the truck stop. You know, there's no bathroom in there. You're going to go inside the truck stop and use the bathroom. You know, a lot of your life is going to change. Home time. Man, I want to be home every weekend. Trucking's not for you. Because we're, we go home, yes, we go home, but it's like once a month, every other month, something like that. You're going to go out there and you're going to run hard for weeks and weeks and weeks and then go home. So just so you know, like there is home time, but is it every weekend? Are you going home every weekend? No, you're not. So right now, like there's a ton of people that I've been hearing that are all like, man, I got to sleep in a truck. Of course you got to sleep in a truck. It's a trucking job. Man, I got to, I don't get to go home. I, I want to take my test and go home and relax for a week or two or three. And I'm like, dude, you got your priorities wrong. It's out here to make money. It's about that hustle. It's about get, making that those miles, making that money. And then you always got the guys or gals that always say, hey, my trainer's making me do all the driving. I'm telling you right now, you get on my truck, you're doing all the driving. Because you need that experience. The more you can get behind the wheel before you take your test, the better you're going to be. So you should be chomping at the bits. I want to get behind that wheel. I want to get the experience. Uh, oh, we're about to back into a spot. Hey, can, can I stay in the seat and you tell me what to do? Can you show me how to do this? You know, you should have that drive, that want to do it, because the whole reason that you're here is because you want to become a truck driver. So you have to do these research and find out what's, what it's really like. I'm telling you right now, from my experience, most of my students, when they first get here, they're all like, man, this is going to be easy. I got this. I can do this, like, in my sleep. And then they find out that the truth is, we're in... They thought that it was going to be easy as driving a car. They realized that pulling a 53-foot trailer behind them is not the same. A lot of stuff will transfer over, but they're going to find out that it's harder than they think. 
So to the people that just think truckers just sit in their truck all day and drive down the road, I got news for you. You know, we're, we're doing a lot more than that. We are multitasking in that seat. We are doing all kinds of stuff at the same time. You just don't see it. But we are checking mirrors, checking gauges. We are reading signs. We are, you know, trying to remember our routes. Trying to, we we look at a satellite in, image of the place we're going and we got that in our memory. We're all like, okay, remember, I got to go into the second driveway, not the first one. Don't go in the first one. You know, there's a lot of stuff involved in this. Um, to my antisocial guys out here that are all like, man, I want a job where I don't have to talk to nobody. Look, guys, you're going to have to talk to these shippers, receivers. So you're going to have to talk to people at the truck stop. You're going to have to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of communication with your fleet manager. So people that are coming out here and they're all like, man, I'm going to have a job that nobody's going to tell me what to do. Look, Hey, and I'll be the first one to tell you, your, your fleet manager is your co-worker. Y'all are working together. He's, he's managing the fleet. He's making sure that you're taken care of. And you're making sure he's taken care of because you're out there running those miles, getting those loads there on time. You know, it's a scratch. I scratch your back, you scratch my back kind of deal. So you have to have that relationship with a fleet manager. You know, and... And I do a strange, I do a strange relationship with my fleet manager because, you know, he, he really doesn't, we really don't communicate that much, but he knows if something needs to be done, I'm there. And, and I know, you know, I know if I need some help with something, I know he's there and I know he has my back. And that's the best thing is like that, knowing that my fleet manager is going to have my back. Yeah. We don't talk every day. He tells me all the time, Hey man, you can just pick up the phone and call me and we'll just talk. I'm all like, man, I know you're busy. Like, I don't like bugging my fleet manager because there's 80-something trucks or more on his fleet. Could you imagine if we all called him on the same day just wanting to talk about stuff? Talk about the birds and the bees? His phone's going to be ringing off the hook. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let, leave you with this. You know, trucking, some people, it's for. Some people it's not for you're sometimes you think it's going to be for you. You're going to come out here and you're going to be like, man, this is for me. And then since you didn't do your research, you're going to get out here and you're going to be like, what do you mean? I got to sleep in the truck. What do you mean? I got to drive all day or what do you mean? I have to drive at night. What? Sometimes we drive in the mornings. Sometimes we drive in the evenings. Like try to get rid of most of those surprises you can up front be like that way you can go into here with the mindset of i know what i'm about to go through i'm about to live in a truck i'm about to shower in a truck stop you know knowledge is power the more knowledge that you can put into your mind before you get here the more mentally prepared you're going to be because a lot of this stuff is mental and i'm not saying that you know it's the best thing in the world out here truck driving. Some, frankly, a lot of it's not the best thing in the world. You know, sleeping in a truck, I don't have a problem with it. My bed is super comfy, man. I sleep good in it. Like, I'm telling you, I got that vent blowing in my face. I sleep good. Showering in a truck stop's another story. That's one of my things that I had to deal with. Uh, I kind of, germaphobe kind of like, so showering at a truck stop was a nightmare for me. Like I was like, oh, I got to get a lot more cleaning supplies. Like I need, I need disinfectant wipes. I need this. I need that. I need to clean it up. Like, woo wee, the shower was the nightmare for me because I was like, oh, and then some of the truck stops you go to, like, they're not all nice as those loves. You know, I tell my students all the time, man, this is the Hilton of the truck stops right here. So do some research. If you get a chance, go visit a truck stop before you come out here. Go see what it's like in a truck stop. You know, it doesn't hurt to go over to the truck stop. Go buy you a drink, drink you a soda, drive around the back, see what it looks like. Go in there, listen to the speaker come on. Shower 21, your shower is ready. You know, go do some research. Go talk to some drivers out there. A lot of these drivers in these truck stops, they they just hanging out looking for somebody to talk to anyways because they're lonely. They're all like, 
man, is there anyone to talk to around here? They just want to have a conversation. If you're saying, man, I'm looking at coming to trucking, they'll be like, oh, really? Let me tell you about this. Knowledge is power. Do your research. Make sure that you, this trucking is going to be a good fit for you. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into before you leave home. I'm out. So like, comment, and subscribe. You know, go ahead. Give me that thumbs up. And uh, check out that merch store that I have down there. Um, if you like anything, go ahead and get it. Let me know what you think of it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Get my latest lives. Get my newest videos. Also, in the description, there's a link to fill out an application and get my recruiter. My recruiter's good. Don't forget to drop that referral code. COXDJL. Also, my phone number is 417-894-8098. Drop me a call, text me something.